Hey guys, Ben from Men's Game Time. Welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy Duelist. Last time we started the Fortune Cup after just a lot of exposition. Turns out the Fortune Cup is all like just this one big front to find the duel signers and that are related to the Crimson Dragon. And we dueled the first duel of the Fortune Cup, dueling against Leo, one of the twins that saved Yusei. And it was a pretty easy duel, all things considered. Pretty good deck that uh, Greiger had. And so this time we're going to be dueling as the first uh, Fortune Cup duel that uh, Yusei takes place in. So we're going to start, surprise, surprise. So let's get started with that. So now we come to Yusei's first duel of the Fortune Cup. His first opponent was set to be a man named Shira. However, at the last minute, a different opponent entered the arena. All right, interesting. Surprise, surprise, didn't expect to see me out here, did ya? Yes, uh, his hair is designed to be fire. That's pretty interesting. And his name is Hunter Pace, all right? Uh, you game to duel Hunter Pace. Trust me, you didn't want to duel Shira. That guy's a real bore. Let's do this. All right, so yeah, a lot less story than last time. Uh, I will say that um, with the Fortune Cup, there was actually like a mix between just regular duels off duel runners and some duels on duel runners. Like that was a, one thing. So I think it was like if both people could ride a duel rider runner. Whatever, scissors, nope, uh, they could do it. So I think this duel was a dual runner duel. However, the one that we did with Leo last episode, uh, that was uh, on the ground, regular duel. So, And that was uh, weird. I don't know if you saw that, but some of the cards did not uh, actually have a design to them. So, for a second there, so defense draw. During your opponent's turn, after at, or at the damage calculation, Make the battle damage you take from this battle zero, and you do draw one card. Okay, that's pretty good. Tuning. Add one Synchron Tuner monster from your deck to your hand, then send the top card of your gra um, card to the graveyard. So, all right, it's Nitro Synchron. If this card is sent to the graveyard for the Synchro Summon of a Nitro Synchron monster, draw one card. And we got Sonic Chick. Cannot be destroyed by battle with a monster that has 19 or more attack points. Oh, that's pretty good. And as for monsters for Synchro, we have Stardust Dragon, which is nice. So one tuner and one or no more non-tuners. So during either player's turn, one a card or effect is activated that would destroy a card on the field. You contribute this card and negate the activation. And if you do destroy it during the end phase, if this effect was activated this turn and was not negated, you can special summon this card from your graveyard. So yeah, this is uh, this monster allows you to destroy cards that have an effect that would destroy things and then you can bring it back. So we got Nitro Warrior, which is Nitro Synchron and more monsters and then Junk Syn Junk Warrior as usual. Um, so let's see. I'm going to start off by playing this face down and I'm going to summon Sonic Chick in defense mode. And then turn there. But yeah, so this was one of the duels that um, I think was on Duel Runners. So, oh sweet, 2000, can't be destroyed, excellent. And if this card is in face up, is face up on the field, at the end of the battle phase, destroy this face up card. You can send this card from your hand to the graveyard special summon two zombie type monsters from your hand whose combined attack is exactly 2000, alright. So, the equipped monster gains 3000, 300 attack for each monster your opponent controls. If it would be destroyed by battle, you can destroy this card instead. Alright. Here, I'll activate tuning so I can get the Junk Synchron into my hand. At least one of them. Uh, we lost a Scap Iron Scarecrow. No, that's a perfect card. Why? Well, it's not a perfect card, but it's a really good one. So let's see. I need five stars to summon uh, Junk Warrior. Although I would like to have Stardust Dragon, because that's a really good card. So you can add a target one level two or lower monster in your graveyard and special summon that target in defense position, but it's... Okay, so I'm going to keep him in my hand, and I'm going to just play Nitro Synchron in defense mode and then turn there. And then I can Synchro Summon with them uh, next turn, so that will work. Um, 
I do want to say real quickly that, oh, Call of the Haunted, um, that I've noticed that the game actually updated since the last time I, uh, recorded, so if it looks different, then that's why. If, like, something or some things, like, look different. Ooh, he's got a lot of stuff going on. So, yeah, that's, I think, probably why things happened. Alright, so... All right, this will work out. So, Book of Life, what did that do? Add one zo target one zombie type monster in your graveyard and add one mon monster in your and one monster in your opponent's graveyard, especially some in the first, and also banish the second. Ooh, and you have pyramid. So this whole thing's zombie based. So let's summon Junk Synchron, right? And activate the effect, so I can get Nitro Synchron back, and then I can Synchro Summon. Right? Oh, non-tuner monsters, I'm an idiot. I am an idiot. How did I mess that one up? Alright. Um, I would want to put this on a... I'm pretty sure I have multiples of these. So let's put it on that. 1900, not enough to um, stop this. But I can destroy Pyramid Turtle at least. So let's just do that. There we go. At least something good happened this turn. And he's going to bring a Pyramid Turtle from his deck into the defense position. Inter interesting. I do also have defense draw, so that's good, and I've got Call of the Haunted and other things, so uh, let's actually, yeah, let's go to main phase 2. Okay, that's going to be destroyed. Sweet. Um, and then we're going to put Call of the Haunted face down just in case something happens so I can summon something and then bring back uh, Junk Synchron or something like that. So yeah, there's always a backup plan, at least. And... Your opponent has declared battle, add the activate the effect of a card. Sure? No. Why is he attacking Junk Synchron? That was weird, he was attacking Junk... Why did he do that? No, I, no, I don't want to activate a card, he's gonna just kill himself. Sure. I... I Oh boy! Yeah, I want to activate the. Eff oh, not that one. Yes, I want to activate. No, not that one. Yes, damage calculation. Now I want to activate defense draw. There we go. Use the effect of fighting spirit. Yes. There we go. Okay, everything worked out. Man, that was like, that was weird. Like, he was just kept, kept on destroying his own monsters and stuff. It was weird. Alright, cool, I got a Scap Iron Scarecrow. Um, so we'll put that face down, need that. And then Junk Barrage. So when the equipped monster destroys a monster by battle and sends it through the graveyard, inflict damage to opponent equal to half the destroyed. Ooh. Nice. I'll hold on to that for now. Um, problem is, I don't have any normal monsters in my graveyard, right? Yeah, I don't. I just got the Nitro Synchron. So. Skull Flame. Once per turn, you can special summon one Burning Skull Head from your hand. You cannot conduct your battle phase the turn you activate this effect. You can add one Burning Skull Hand from your graveyard to your hand instead of conducting a normal draw phase. And you got Burning Skull Head right there. When this card is special summoned you could, from your hand, inflict a thousand damage to your opponent. Uh, you can remove from play this face-up card you control to return one removed from play Skull Flame to its owner's graveyard. Interesting strategy. All right. Uh, I'm going to just play Junk Synchron in defense. Mm -mm, wait, that might have been bad. No, I'll be okay. Yeah, okay, I'll be fine. So, end turn there. You know what, in hindsight, I could have attacked. You know, I, I'm i just not... I'm, like, worried about the Skull Flame, so I'm not... And I'm also worried about making sure I can Synchro Summon. That's the thing, is that I'm not, like, thinking everything through. I'm just like, okay, yeah, I gotta get these certain cards out. Uh, okay, Battle Phase, no. Yes, declare an attack, activate... Scrap, scrap Iron Scarecrow. So, nope. Don't want to chain. And... 
Yes, I want to activate... Oh, yeah, okay, that's only once per turn. So, yeah, I really should have just played in attack mode then. Man, I'm a fool. And direct attack. <laughs> so, yeah, I should have just left him in attack mode, destroyed the skull flame. Or not the skull flame, but the burning skull head or whatever. And then his other monster wouldn't be able to destroy it. So, yeah, that was just a big mistake on my part. Um... Hmm. You can special summon this card from your hand by tributing one warrior monster, and if you do, it gains attack equal to the tribute monster's original attack. Is this a warrior? No, that's a machine, and this is a... Ooh, Junk Synchron's a warrior, though. So 1300 plus 1200, that would be 2500. That would be, ooh, just barely enough to not be able to defeat Skull Flame. Alright, let's activate Call of the Haunted on Junk Synchron. And then we'll start the battle phase. So, destroy. Once per turn, you can make this card's attack become double its original one. No, we do not want that. Alright, and then everything will be fine from here. Or it should, at least. I just need to get a monster that I can Synchro Summon with. Oh boy. He's really thought of everything, I feel. Yeah, activate for now. I mean, just delay the inevitable a little bit. Man. If I had that second sc Scrap Iron Scarecrow, I think I would be okay. I don't know, it's just like bad luck with my draws or something like that. Like, that's the thing, I just get in bad luck, I think. Alright, this one. Give and take. Special summon one monster from a graveyard to your opponent's side of the field in defense position and increase the level of one monster you control. Play that down, I guess, and play Nitro Synchron in defense mode. I really got nothing else. So, let's see. If he doesn't summon anything, I can hold on for one more turn. Excellent. Activate Scra Scrap Iron Scarecrow. And then... Oh, he's not attacking with that. Okay, good. I can hold on for even longer. Double summon. Um, problem with that is... Here. Actually, yeah. Let's um, set this by sacrificing Nitro Synchron. So that way I can have a good defense for a while. And I'll end turn there. So that way I can Scrap Iron Scarecrow when his big monster, Skull Flank, attacks, and then whenever anything else attacks, you know, everything will be okay. And I just need a Tuner Monster. Man, he's got five cards on the field. This is going to be bad. Alright, we got Junk Synchron. And then... That's eight. I should be good with this, right? Uh, yes. Oh, wait. Hmm. Yeah, well, it's going to be in defense position, isn't it? So, yeah, everything's going to be okay. And then I'll flip up this to Synchro Summon. Stardust Dragon. Or, ooh. Do I want to do Stardust Dragon, or do I want to do Nitro Warrior? Once during each of your turns, if you activate a spell card, this card gains a thousand attack during the next attack this turn involving this card during damage calculation only. If this attacking card destroys an opponent's monster by battle after damage calculation, you can target one face up the pen's position monster your opponent controls, change that target to attack position, and then this card can make a second attack. I'm gonna... I'm going to summon Nitro Warrior instead then, um, just because that would be a little bit better for me. So yeah, let's actually, yeah, let's do that. Because I can destroy his face-up monster, so attack position, right, I can destroy this, and then I can, sw 
Oh, cool, I can draw another card. Um, and then... Special summon this, right? Yeah, I want to do that. I'll special summon him by sacrificing Junk Synchron and put him in attack position. And now we'll have 2500 to attack. And then I'll activate this on Nitro Synchron. And this will get extra damage. So, yeah, here's the plan attack this. Attack Skull Flame with this, it will do a lot of damage. Activate the effect and target Burning Skull Head and attack that, and then I'll target uh, another thing with this. So, yeah, this is gonna work. Nice. Sweet, came back. Activate, yes. I will let this go into face up attack. And then Junk Barrage, he loses a lot of uh, points there. Um, no, do I? Hmm, no, I don't want to do that. And then, minus 500, and then this attacks Pyramid Turtle, and, oh, that's the game! Sweet! That move really worked out then. I did not realize that would be game, but there we go. That, that move really paid off right there. Wow. That was really good. Nice. Sweet. <clears throat> Arg. That was a really great duel, Hunter. Yeah, it really was. I mean, it was back and forth, you know. I was on the ropes for a little bit and came back. So, yeah, that was a good duel. Really great duel. So, don't think I'll take this loss sitting down, you say. So, yeah. There we go. We have defeated Hunter and won our first duel in the Fortune Cup. And so, next time, we're going to do second round showdown, dueling as you say. So yeah, I will see you guys then.